What's up everybody? Welcome back to another one and check out where we are right now. We are ice fishing, okay? We are on Brushy Creek in central Iowa and it is January 2nd today actually. So we are just starting the new year of 2022 and I am super excited to get out on the ice. I was out here Friday, which I'm not sure if I'm putting any of that footage in or not because the fishing was really slow and really just not that entertaining so hopefully we can get on some fish today and i just wanted to start the video off with telling you guys right now january 2nd there's probably about six inches of ice out here so pretty safe but do please use precautions just because i know some spots of the lake are being left open from geese and that kind of thing so just whenever you're out on the early ice just bring a spud bar guys but with no further ado stay tuned and hopefully i can show you guys some fish today we're going to be targeting crappies panfish maybe some walleye um, really whatever bites but we're going to be targeting those panfish species so stay tuned for that guys oh wow they're loaded down there here we go there's a fish what do we got oh yeah it's a good one it's not too small what are we looking at oh yeah crappie Woo -hoo -hoo. that is the first crappie of the year ladies and gentlemen through the ice check that out not a big one but probably oh i'd say eight nine inches and i am looking to keep some fish today so he's probably going to go on the ice that's pretty cool it took a little bit of work but we did find them so they are out here ladies and gentlemen we're in 35 feet of water and uh we found a little crappie hole. That's exciting. but I mean we're getting them now and again I haven't been out here too long yet keep in mind guys this is my second time ever fishing this lake too and my first time was Friday two days ago so a pretty new lake to me but all in all there's so much structure in here I think it actually makes it hard to find fish because there's too much structure sometimes but hopefully we can pull this guy up here he comes here we go Oh, I missed him. Oh no, I ripped his lips. Yeah, 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 I hear ya. Too bad I don't have my shotgun. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh, this is a good one too. This is a good one. Don't get off, buddy. Come on now. Oh, I thought it was a good one. It's a little guy. He sure hit hard though. Man, it's fun once they're on. They fight all the way up, I tell you what. Hey, nonetheless, we're catching fish and I'm happy. And it's not bad. I mean, he's small, but you gotta pick through the small ones to catch the nice ones, right? See you later, bro. Oh, you just wanna stay topside, don't you? See you later, buddy. There you go. Back down we go. This is a good spot right here. I might have to drill a couple more holes in this area. Every time I put down here, I've caught them. Granted, they seem a little smaller over here, but the only difference is this is 32 feet and in my hut is 35. And I mean, I'm only 10 feet away from my shack right now. You can see, I mean, it's right there. It's not like I'm walking all over the ice out here. There we go. There's another one. Uh, maybe. I don't think it's much bigger. It's probably pretty little. But we'll see what we got. It's pulling pretty good. Another little one. Man, oh man. Come on, where's your big brother at? <laughs> well, hey, nonetheless, catching crappies is always fun, like I said, so I can't complain. I'll show you guys kind of what I'm using. It's just a tungsten jig. I mean, it's pretty, pretty small. That's it right there. Just tipped with a little minnow head, and that's all. They don't really seem 
they don't really seem to like wax worms and they don't really seem to like plastic so i actually just took the plastic off of there and just threw the minnow head on and it seems like it's helping out a lot they're just finicky you know when it's this cold you know they're not they're not super fired up but i tell you what the next couple days when it hits 33 degrees these fish are gonna go crazy because there's a lot of them down there they're just tucked to the bottom and it's kind of you gotta work for each each and every one that you catch so there's a fish oh yes hold on oh man this is a nice one oh yeah Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. there's your bigger brother man oh man we will take that all day sheesh another one for the pail man oh man look at that guy beautiful crappie Ooh, there we go. This is a small one, I think. It's hard to tell when they're down that far. Oh yeah, just a little guy. He sure rocketed up towards that thing though, man, oh man. We'll take it, we'll take it another one in the books right there, another one down. As you guys can see, well this might blind you guys, but the sun is going down which means the bite is about to catch fire here any minute now. So we're gonna get in the house and get ready for it. I don't have my rod in my hand and he might be catching a fish. Uh-oh. I don't wanna grab it and spook him. Oh, I missed him. Oh, that was a nice fish too. Man. There we go. That's a good one. Well, a little bit better anyway. Right. Oh yeah, look at that. We will take that all day long, ladies and gentlemen. Sheesh. After quite a few misses, I tell you what, it finally got I finally got them. Okay, there's enough fish down there to where they're loving it. I'm gonna get back down there though. This guy, I would say, is going in the pail, though. Thank you, little guy. Get back down there. We got a fish on, ladies and gentlemen. I missed the hook set, but we got one on. It's a good one. Definitely a good size crappie. Well, not too bad. I mean, we'll take that. That's still a keeper size. It's probably eight inches. Not bad. Thought my camera was recording, but I missed the hook set. So that puts four, four in there. Four in the bucket for today so far. I'm pretty surprised I'm the only one in this area, honestly. There was a lot of guys fishing kind of towards the landing, which I totally, I mean, I get it just because the ice hasn't been good for too long. But I was careful. I mean, I took my time when I came out. I mean, there's, I mean, there's plenty of ice. I feel like people will be driving four-wheelers soon. I mean, I'm sitting on at least six inches here. I feel like I, there's probably a little bit more than that, honestly. A few moments later. There we go. There's a fish. What do we got here? Something a little bigger. A little bit more weight to it. Yeah. He was suspended about six feet off. Oh wow. A crappy. Look at that guy. We'll take that all night long, son. Thank you very much. He's got some more spots than all the rest of them. Not bad. What were you doing so suspended, buddy? Huh, nonetheless. He'll go good on the dinner plate, I can tell you that much. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that I think is going to wrap up today's video. It was a fun one. I'm super happy that ice fishing is upon us and that there's plenty of ice here in central Iowa. You guys are gonna be seeing a lot more fishing content like this. I'm thinking about attacking the Dead Sea, AKA Big Creek one of these days. But if you guys do stay tuned in the next week or two, I am headed up to Northern Minnesota Leech Lake where I'm for sure gonna be putting out some content as long as we can catch some fish. I think it's been a little slow up there, so we'll see what happens. I got some pretty good spots. I'm from Minnesota originally, so I always do pretty well on, on Leech when we go up there. But uh, all in all, I love it out here. Check out that view. I mean, you just can't beat it. Can't beat it, ladies and gentlemen. 
as you guys can see, I'm actually fishing out of my hunting blind. Uh, my dad has my portable up in Minnesota because we're going up there in, in the next week. We're going to be in our ice castle, but we do want to be able to do some portable fishing too, so I don't even have the portable with me. And honestly, it worked great. You know, I'm super pumped about it. You know, that hunting blind worked just fine. And it's freaking almost zero degrees out here today and uh, didn't have any problems with it. The buddy heater kept us warm and everything, so... The uh, only reason you guys didn't really see any live scope activity today is because I was fishing in 35, 40 feet of water and it just wasn't picking up everything very good. I'm hoping if I can fish maybe 20, you know, 20, 25 feet that it'll do a better job that way. So stay tuned for that guys. I do plan on putting out some live scope content this, this year as well. So stay tuned for that. And I hope you guys had a happy new year and I can't wait to see what 2022 brings. So thank you guys. Peace.